I pray that you would be free from other people's opinions when it comes to you worshiping Jesus. And that's something that holds a lot of us back in many different settings and in our heart especially. And in Luke chapter 7, verse 49, you know the context? It was a dinner, and at that dinner, there's a woman with a sinful past, prostitution. She comes to worship Jesus, and at the same time, the Pharisee is looking down upon her. But then the rest of the dinner guests are trying to process this, and they ask the question, who is this who is forgiving sins? Like, who is this one at the dinner party that just thinks he can forgive sins, give peace to people with God, and they're just wondering about Jesus. They're not sure. Maybe they're curious, maybe they're skeptical, maybe they're kind of interested, but a range there. So now go back to the woman for a second. Do you see the atmosphere and the environment that she had to press through and press into Jesus? She had someone kind of condemning her, looking down upon her, the Pharisee. She had a bunch of dinner guests that weren't ready to praise Jesus, that did not feel affection or interest towards the Lord, who were maybe hesitant or skeptical or didn't believe him, so that unbelief is in the room. All this is in the room, and she worships Jesus. Be careful that you don't give other people too much power. If you're always trying to gauge what's in the room, well, and you always want to match them, you might not be worshiping the Lord because no one else in the room really is. So don't wait for other people. Instead, keep your eyes on Jesus. Bring him praise and because he's so good and uh, because you can and he's right there and, and he's giving you this relationship, praise him with all your heart. And if someone else uh, looks down upon you or someone else is not believing Jesus or someone else just wants to try to play it cool, no, that, that's not you. You've got your own decision. Don't go with the crowd. Praise Jesus. Go back to this prostitute and be encouraged by her courage. She sets the example, not the crowd, the Lord. And so uh, go ahead, set the tone for the other people, but don't let them hold you back from praising Jesus.